Transitions and animations. What are they? When and where to use them? Transitions are basically the way to go from one slide to another with cool effects. Here is my presentation with slides with different content in PowerPoint. And what I'll show you is how to add transitions by clicking this button on the top. Go to the little arrow in the right corner and click on it. We can add any effect from a great variety of styles we see here like subtle, exciting, and dynamic content. For example, for the first slide, if you click here on the push, you'll see what this first slide would look like. And then we can do the same with the following slides. Press the preview button to appreciate them all. Let's do another slide. So keep in mind two things while using transitions. First, do not rush from one slide to the next. Keep a good pace, but allow time for your audience to read, understand, and keep up. As you can see here on the top at the right side of your screen, we have the timing section. So you can change the transition duration. The first two digits on the left are for seconds, and the other two on the right are for milliseconds. This is all up to you. Another way to keep the pace is doing it manually by clicking the screen in order to display the transition. Check the box where it says on mouse click. Second, keep it simple. We recommend that you use the same transition for all the slides. That will help you avoid any distractions for your audience and they would grasp the meaning of each slide. You can do that by clicking on the Apply to All option. Now what can we say about animations? Let's talk about it. Whereas transitions are applied to slides, the animations are applied into elements inside the slides, like text, images, graphics, and shapes. Next to the Transitions bar in the top is the Animations bar. Let's click on it. If there are no elements in our slide, the animations won't work. As you notice, I added some information I want to share on this slide. I have a picture, some text, and a little icon here. So I just have to click on the element I want to animate and then go up to the animations bar and click on it. Here, I can select whatever effect I like. We'll use peek in. And there we have it. You can also hit the add animation button. Notice that the effects are divided into four main groups. First, the basic ones for entrance. Then, the emphasis effects to highlight important elements in the slide. Third, exit effects. Finally, motion paths, which are the funniest to work with since you can draw a path that the element will follow with the effect you have selected. We're still using peek in, though. On the timing section, you can select when the animations start and how long the effects last. You can make all the elements appear at the same time, to start one after the previous, or click one by one. Also, in the animations bar, you can go and click on animation pane to see and change what order the animations will appear. For the last part, I'd like to add an exit effect on the paragraph. So click on the paragraph and go to exit effect and select the effect. So there we have it. Go and have fun experimenting with transitions and animations on PowerPoint.
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.